How are you? Swell. Now it's Better Call Saul. It's Better Call Saul. I've interviewed you every year. I think past four. You've been nominated how many times? Five. How many times you won? None. So this could be the lucky charm. It could be. <laughs> what is it like each year when you come out that nervousness? What is that? What happens in that theater? I want you to feel my blood pressure right now. Is it beating fast? No, you're pretty calm. I hope so. You know, friends of mine in, in Maryland, because they remember you. Did you go to Blair or one of those high schools? Uh, Northwood and Blair, and yeah. See, I, I know you. Hey, you say, how is he just so down to earth? You mean you keep your, you're just like one of the guys. I hope so. Oh, God, I hope so. No, come on. You, you, you live long enough, uh, it humbles you. What is it like now on Saul? How have things changed um, in, in, this, in this series? What's different? Uh, it's a whole different beat as far as the writers are concerned. And all of a sudden, you know, you have Odin, Bobby Odenkirk's character, Blossom Saul, Jimmy Saul. Um, and then you introduce the new characters, and there's a whole new rhythm. Now we're heading towards Breaking Bad. We are, rapidly. Giancarlo's back, and here we come. Okay, we're going in tonight. I have a thing about this, because John Hamm was in a similar situation. He was nominated, what, five, six, seven times? I don't know. Something like that, and I said, he's been invited to the dinner many times. Serve him the meal. And that's the way I feel about you tonight. We'll Thank you, what, brother. I appreciate that. We, we will see what happens. It's great to see you. you. Uh, continued success. One more thing. Upcoming season. Any big change in your character? Anything we should be looking they for? They don't tell me anything. I'm not being coy. I don't know nothing. 